Hey YouTube, another video from me about building a sortimo rack for your Harbor Freight workbench. There's a number of these sortimo rack designs uh, made popular by Adam Savage um, online in YouTube and you can find them. Many people started using the Harbor Freight storage bins instead of the sortimo racks because they're much cheaper. Um, and there are really two basic designs. This is one that I built that uses sort of slats and removable shelves that are made out of quarter inch plywood. Uh, the reason this is nice is you can change the height of the shelves and put in either single height storage cases or double height storage cases. Now here's the Harbor Freight workbench lower shelf where I plan to put my rack and you can see here that they actually fit these storage bins quite nicely and it would be a good place to put them. I've noticed that I've been using certain storage bin cases more often, like the ones that I use for my wood screws. Um, uh, I keep always going to my cart. It would be nice to have them more readily accessible at my workbench. So in this bill, I decided to use just pallet wood that I had, scrap pallet wood that I had a, a, a lying around. And so I didn't go with any specific design. I sort of found different pieces of plywood and you can here see me sort of dry fitting the build that I would like to do. Um, now, one of the things that you should know are the dimensions of the um, lower shelf. Now, the lower shelf is, is uh, 14 and a half inches deep and a the opening is about 12 and 3 quarter inches uh, high from the front, which allows you to put four of these storage bins on top of each other um, with space for the slats that I would use. Um, and that's pretty generous. You might be able to fit five in, but if you put five of these cases in, you're going to have to put your shelf in from the back end of the bench. Uh, because the drawers are not uh, are front facing, there's a little bit more space to work if you go in from the back. Now, the bottom lip of the bench is about one inches high, so you lose some height for putting the shelf in, and the top lip is about three quarters of an inch high. And so, when I figured it out, I figured about four storage bin cases made up about 11 inches of height, which would allow me to easily place this um, in, the, uh, in the lower shelf. Now, what I used uh, initially was um, sort of the two by fours that are found on the bottom of a pallet, sort of um, holding the slats together. And these two by fours uh, are not actually two by fours. There's usually a cutout um, slot in them that allows a forklift to sort of lift the pallet up and so you have to sort of rip cut them down and they, they come to be about an inch and three quarters by two inches or something like that um, and so they're kind of uneven pieces um, and again uh, I just sort of use what I had in on hand I did plane them down uh, using a planer to make them a little bit cleaner um, but what I decided to do is then just sort of dry fit all the pieces that I had together, um, cut them down as needed to make sure that they fit the bins and they would fit in the appropriate space. So uh, after I got the rough pieces, my design was going to be a sort of a U-shaped box. And then I would cut dados along the side frame uh, to insert slats from a pallet uh, to serve as runners that would hold up and serve as a rack for the um, um, storage bins. Now, the key here, this is not like my original um, storage bin case that has shelves. These are just gonna have little runners along the side and those will be fixed with glue and therefore you can only use the single height storage bins and not the double height storage bins, but that's all I, I really needed. Now, one of the things I sort of regret is I decided to use glue only to put the storage uh, bin rack together. Um, just thought it would be easier, but in hindsight, I probably should have used screws as I would have challenges with the glue joints uh, when I tried to cut the dados. The other sort of criteria for me in building this rack is that I wanted it to be removable or movable. Um, as it wasn't going to take up the whole lower shelf, 
I might want to take it out later if I didn't like it. Or I might want to move it to, from the left side to the right side or build another one of these racks on that lower shelf. I previously used to store power tools down there like my uh, circular saw and drills, uh, but I built a sort of French cleat tool cart to uh, store those tools and so that space became available um, and I decided to get more of these storage bins um, and then the ones that I use specifically for woodworking or uh, the ones that I often reach to when I'm working with this bench I decided to store at this bench here and again you can see me constantly checking the size um, to make sure that the these racks fit. So one of the things I did after I got my sort of rough frame box built is I put some of these pallet slats in between uh, the boxes and I stacked them up on top of each other to sort of figure out if the height was right. I think I guesstimated that pretty good in measuring. Um, you know, each of those pallet slats will represent uh, one of the runners that I'm going to carve into the side here. Um, and so. Um, I was happy, you can see here it fits four of those pretty nicely um, with the pallet slats as a spacer. Now for the side slats to, to put the storage bins on, what I did was I just took some pallet slats and I ripped them in half. Um, and. Uh, then I'm going to put them, um, uh, attach them along to the side frame, and then they'll serve um, as sort of shelves uh, for the storage bins. And here you can see I, I've ripped my pallet slats so they're um, the appropriate size, and now I'm just sort of figuring out where along the uh, side frame they need to be um, placed. So rather doing, than doing a lot of math, um, I just turned the storage case on its side and I'm going to figure out uh, where these slats need to be placed by just actually putting a bin there and marking them with a pencil as to where my dados need to be cut out um, to put these slats in for the rack. And um, just using the slats themselves, I used a square and figured out where I need to cut the dados out for the uh, other side of the rack. Now I did sort of measure to make sure that the shelves would be balanced on the left and right side so they would be level when you slide them in. Um, but it was pretty straightforward to do this. Now, the first time I tried to cut the dados, I actually used a trim router, and uh, the router bit, actually, there was a lot of tear out in the wood. I don't know why, maybe because it was pallet wood and the good quality wood wasn't there. So, uh, my first attempt to cut the dados using a uh, router didn't go very well. So, what I ended up doing is then switching just to a saw to sort of cut little uh, sort of pilot grooves and then a chisel um, to sort of uh, remove the material in between these saw cuts. So you can see my pencil lines here from where I want to put my slats. And, um, I'm just going to use a nice uh, small Japanese saw to cut a fine groove there. I went about a half inch in deep on all the different slats. After cutting the slats, I then started using a chisel to sort of remove the other material to make my dados uh, for my um, shelves. Now, this is where I had problems. I, as I started chiseling, the glue up wasn't completely dry, and then the box I had originally glued together started falling apart. And so I just decided to go with it, figure chiseling out my slats first, 
and then I would re-glue the uh, whole box structure together again after I was done. So after I was done uh, putting in my dados uh, using my chisel, cleaning them up a little bit with a file, I glued the box structure back together with some clamps and then I sort of broke down and decided to use some uh, wood screws to make sure that the structure held together uh, moving forward. So after I was done um, gluing the block structure back together again, you can see I've put my slats in uh, to serve as little shelves. They're a little bit shorter than I wanted. Again, I was just using sort of scrap pallet wood I had around. Um, so I put the sort of gap in the back and made them flush with the front. Here what I decided to do is actually put in a couple pallet slats in the back as sort of a, a stop for when you slide the bins in, they don't go all the way through. Um, I just cut some pallet wood down that had been planed, uh, cut it to the height of the bin uh, itself, and then just sort of screwed them in. I was just going to do one, but then I decided to do both sides to make sure that the uh, pallet, or excuse me, the storage bins don't slide all the way out through the back. Then finally, I just uh, finished the project up with some white bond poly to protect it because I think there's going to be a lot of rubbing from the bins going in and out. Um, after the first coat dry, I applied a second coat of white bond poly. So I ended up moving it to the other side of the lower shelf. Uh, since I'm right-handed, I figure it'd just be easier there. And then I noticed when I was sliding the bins in and out, there was one shelf, the very bottom, that kept catching. Um, and I guess that was poor planning or poor glue up that left the back part of the frame a little bit higher than uh, the front part. And so when I slide the bins in, um, they were catching. Just took a little bit of a block plane out and just sort of shaved down that to make it smooth and that seemed to fix it. And then all the bins started sliding in, in and out fairly easily. So um, just make sure that all the pieces are flat and aligned when you glue the, the, the rack together. So a preview of a future video, I really like uh, this workbench, but one of the drawbacks that I've noticed is that the clamp or the vise is actually on the side. It's a tail vise, which makes accessing it a little bit difficult. It would be nice if there was a front face vise on this workbench. And so I'm gonna try to make a mod that will allow you to sort of secure wood on the front part of this uh, workbench. So look for that uh, video in the near future. Thanks.